Hello everyone, this is Introvert Shy Guy, and welcome to my gameplay vlog of Super Mario Galaxy. So, yeah, I did mention that I was, I might be able to play Pikmin, Pikmin 3 or some other game, but honestly, I kind of feel like I just want to do a gameplay vlog, basically like, you know, playing Super Mario Galaxy and stuff while talking about some, like, just random stuff and everything. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's basically what I'm doing, basically. So, yeah, anyway, I actually just already did the job interview before, and it went out great, but, uh, I wasn't able to, to, like, see it, to see right away if I was, you know, if I was hired, basically. He said, the guy, uh, he, he would probably be my boss later, said that, you know, they're now, like, just his higher up basically because he's probably just he, he's the manager but he's not the main boss of everything said that he's just that this guy will just contact me in a week or two weeks or even a month and see what the if they would hire me or not so i have no idea if i'm chosen for the job or anything i hope i am basically so and as of right now, it's 2.37. If you're wondering why it's so late, because bear in mind, I actually woke up early for the interview because it was 10 in the morning. And I did came home early. But basically what happened was I was kind of feeling kind of like, you know, I was kind of feeling really happy. I was a lot chipper than I usually am. Um, mainly because of, um, like, when I, when I was looking up and stuff. Hey old man, are you practicing how to skate too? Well, why don't you, you know... Oh, I'm supposed to catch him now. Okay. So I was a lot chipper than usual, so I was basically just going on the internet and stuff. I was also looking at some political stuff and everything, but... Uh... Yeah, other than that, I, like, of course, I was spending a lot of time on it that I kind of finished at 2.20. And right now it's like 238 as as I'm playing which isn't really a big deal cuz I'm honestly doing gameplay vlogs uh, my maximum I usually go 30 or 40 minutes I don't go too long cuz I never break this this up and every I never chop it into parts so uh, I just figured you know just to do that and it's fine I'm not gonna play too long my brother will probably be home at 320 at minimum it's a Thursday so I'm good basically so, uh, actually, hold on. This nunchuck isn't, isn't feeling too good, so I'm gonna change it to something else. Let's see if this one's better. Okay, this one, this one feels much better. So I'm good. Oh shit. Alright. So I'm now in this place. I'm supposed to... Oh, get the question mark. Okay. Anyway. Hold on. Okay, three minutes in, that's good. So if you guys were wondering why I was such in a chipper mood, well, mostly because uh, I was kind of I was kind of on the internet basically looking at, you know, this uh, hold on. Yeah, you transfer dice power shake this so then you can walk the water too. Uh, I was kind of in a happy mood because I was, I discovered this, uh, this really sexy cartoon girl, basically. And I know t to maybe some of you, you don't know, like, if you don't think it's such a big deal, but to me it kind of is because even, like, you know, even to this, to this day in 2018, I'm still a kissless virgin. I still haven't, you know, found a, gr a girlfriend. I'm still taking a break from the on online. Actually, as a matter of fact, the whole online dating thing I'll probably explain like much later. But uh, point is, I'm just kind of taking a break from finding a girlfriend as of right now. I'm just focusing on my studies, but that doesn't mean that uh, I'll basically be opposed to, you know, if if a girl suddenly like comes up to me and talks to me and says if like wanting my, my, uh, my, like, my contact or anything. I wouldn't be opposed to it. I'm just saying, as of, as of right now, I'm just focusing on other stuff, but, you know, I'm not actively trying to find a girl, as of right now. That's what I'm saying. It's been a while since I've played this, so I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Oh! 
go here. Okay, there we go. So, anyway, uh, so basically... Oh, shit. If you're wondering how I, how I discovered this, basically... Um, basically I was kind of, I was kind of browsing around 4chan. Like, you know, because I, I actually kind of always do that every day, believe, believe it or not. Hold on, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get that thing again. Because I kind of messed up. So I kind of discovered this, uh, basically, I was like on 4chan and stuff, and there was this... And on the main page, basically, when you go on, sometimes they would, they would show you, like, various, um, topics and stuff. It was basically related to... To, uh, to the cartoon uh, board, basically. Uh, so, I apologize if I'm not like progressing, but because I'm kind of not like you know, I'm kind of focusing and talking at the same time with this kind of level I'm doing. So, I apologize if this is taking too long. Anyway, so on the main top, on the main like uh, on the main board, basically, uh, there was this cartoon thing, and I had like a slice of life cartoon that I used that I used to watch when I was little. As a matter of fact, there were like two uh, I saw t uh, two of them basically. And they were they both basically showed the anime of girls and they honestly like you know they both look, you know, pretty uh, attractive. Uh So okay, so what happened was I actually saw I actually saw this Oh shit, I had to spin. I thought I was supposed to touch them. Anyway. So I kind of saw the... The attractive, you know, uh, one of the attractive cartoon cartoon girls with a slice of life. And I decided to... Fuck, it's not... It wasn't shaking, because I already did it, that's why. So I decided to basically go on Wikipedia and, and basically check this, you know, cartoon show. Bear in mind, it was a Slice of Life cartoon show, but I wasn't really a fan of it because at the time I was not... I was not a huge fan of... Uh, Slice of Life cartoons, basically. Uh, at the time, so... So I decided to basically check it out, and I, like, I didn't know much about, about the show at the time when I, when I, when I did this, basically, when I uh, read about it. So, I checked it out, and there was this one girl that actually looked kind of attractive. Actually, probably the most attractive out of, out of all the characters. And she has this specific, let's just say trait. What I mean by trait, I mean like it could be like her, her favorite hobby, or her, um, you know, interests and stuff. That's the same thing for hobby, basically, but... Let's just say trait, I would say. So when I, when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's cool. And, and I decided to check on the internet to see if there was anything, you know, hold on, let me check the time. Okay, it's nine minutes, that's good. So I decided to go on the internet to check if there were any uh, animated girls with, this, with similar traits as, the, as that girl that I just saw on the Slice of Life cartoon, basically. And if you're wondering why I'm not really saying the name, like, outright, because I don't want you guys to, like I said, uh, put two, two and two together. It's, just, it's called the Dirty, the Dirty Tricks of Major Burrows. It's a boss battle, and I like, and I love boss battles. So I didn't, I just don't want you guys to put two and two together to know what I'm talking about, because I'm kind of, even me being anonymous and stuff, I, I'm kind of shut, like, I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about this, basically. You know, in, in my view. So... So what was, what was I gonna say? So basically... I really love the music of this level, by the way. With floaty fluff, you can ride the wind blowing in... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so... Yeah, so basically I decided to go on the internet to look for a certain type of girls with uh, similar traits, basically. With, with similar traits, and I've actually discovered this one 
like animation. It's an animated movie that uh, that I was surprised was basically made in this one specific country that has a girl with the same traits. And honestly, she, that girl that from that movie I'm talking about, she's actually she's really like you know attractive and, and stuff. So. And, and, and actually, the, the character designs also look really appealing. Like, I was surprised at how well done it is. If you're wondering what kind of movie I'm talking about, obviously I'm not really going to say it outright. And I'm not going to say what country it's from, but I'll give you a hint. It's not an American cartoon, and it's not a Japanese anime. But it is made, it, it is made in Asia. It's so like somewhere in Asia, in general. So it's a cartoon made in Asia, basically. Um, so... So I actually decided to go on Wikipedia to read about it. Am I supposed to kill- I think I'm supposed to kill those guys. Or am I supposed to try to find some- something else? I don't know if there's like a sling star. I'm sorry about this. Anyway, so... I basically, yeah, I went on Wikipedia and I actually read about it and... So it was- it's an actually a really- a really good movie. Like, you know, something like that. So... I was surprised how... This this region this country in Asia was able to produce something like really good with like really nice character designs. I don't know how it looks like animation wise, so I have no idea about that. But other than that, I, I could I could definitely say that you know character designs they they look really nice. So oh here we go there we go. You were supposed to kill all of them. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this, the, some of this part out. Like, I did say, I didn't say, I said I wasn't gonna cut it in parts, but I didn't say I was gonna shorten some stuff, so I, I'll shorten that definitely. I apologize for this. Okay, so yeah, so. What am I supposed to, oh, okay. It's all part of the process. <laughs> so it is actually part of the process. Alright, so... So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's basically this Asian cartoon, this Asian, like, uh, cartoon that actually looks really nice. I'm really surprised, like, of how well received it is and how it looks, basically. So, I'm not gonna watch it because... I mean, I, I I don't know. It's normally like for me, whenever I see something like this, I tend to avoid watching something because I like to like use my imagination to basically make what I what I feel would be in it. Because I mean, it's a kids' movie. Bear in mind. I mean, it's like probably G or PG. I'm assuming PG maybe. Um, so. So basically, like, I'm not, I like, I prefer to just use my imagination. Even just looking at a single picture would do it. And I normally do it, do that stuff, like, all the time for anything. I even used to do it for My Little Pony before I watched the show. Before I actually watched the show, so... There we go. So, uh... What else? Oh, uh, let's see if there's one of those special mushrooms. Yes, there is! Alrighty. Oh, fuck. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Good. Alright, let's do this. I'm trying to think if I said everything I need to say. So in this first part, he's chasing, he's chasing the bunny. He's not chasing me yet. Now he's chasing me. Oh shit, fuck. <laughs> oh look at this. <laughs> now he's pissed. <laughs> Oh fuck. <laughs> oh 
Oh fuck! Damn. Should next time wait for him to be a little closer to me. Alright, come on. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. There we go. Oh, oh. I used to- I thought it was pretty creepy that they did that, honestly. Sorry it took so long. <sighs> Got it. Anyway, so... So, yeah, uh... So I just have to say, the that, that girl, like, in that anime movie that's from Asia looks, like, really hot. So I was, I was surprised that they were able to make something like this. So yeah, that's basically it, I would say. I don't know what else to say other than that I'm actually like, I, I mean, I, even 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 now I actually still, I actually still want a girlfriend and stuff, so, uh, actually no, I want to do something else, honestly. So like, I just thought I would just talk, talk to you guys about this. And as for traits, or, or like, what kind of girls I like, honestly, is that here's the thing, honestly, for me, my preference, I prefer, obviously, like, I, I prefer white girls and stuff, to be my girlfriend, basically, because I don't really want, like, I don't really want to have, like, you know, a, a, like, a black or Hispanic or Asian, I mean, I don't know, I just prefer, I just prefer girls that are, like, you know, basically similar to my race. But actually, here's the thing, though. I also don't like, you know, uh, I'm, for me, I'm, I'm actually a, a ethnically Syrian. Basically, both my parents were born in Syria, but I actually don't want like a Syrian girl. Honestly, I really don't. I really don't find them attractive, uh, to be honest. So usually, I prefer like to for my girlfriend to be like, you know, basically ethnically white either have the specific genetics that are either uh, Germanic, Nordic, Celtic, or Slavic, but not Mediterranean, basically. So not even Italian girls, because they're very similar uh, to my genetics, basically. Now, as for Jewish girls, because um, here's the thing, like, you know, Jewish girls also share some uh, Mediterranean genetics that, like, just, just like, just like myself, basically, because, you know, they're both their ancestry, like, came from Israel, originally. Shit, I guess I gotta... Okay, do this. It would've been, it would've been cool if I, if I struck that thing. If I struck that mold, you know? There we go. I'm supposed to do that. So... So, basically, uh... For, for Jewish girls, they do, they do share like you know some of the Mediterranean genetics. However, if if they are basically an, uh, an Ashkenazi type Jew, basically, which are basically Jews that uh, have like you know mostly European genetics that are mostly either Slavic or Germanic and stuff, but you know they still are are Jewish but have mostly European uh, genetics. And I'm actually also fine with that too because you know. Tends to mask the 
the like you know Mediterranean uh, looks basically that I'm not really too fond of. And uh, and you, you like you could you're wondering if why but, uh, I'm not too fond of it. It's just because I I, don't, I honestly just find like Mediterranean girls kind of bland looking. Like they have black hair and br and dark brown eyes, kind of like myself. So normally for me, I tend to prefer like you know having a girl that has completely different gen genetics than me. How do you? Oh wait, no wait, hold on. Am I supposed to kill this thing by launching it? There we go. That's what I'm supposed to do. So I just want to have a girlfriend that has completely different uh, gene genetics from me, basically. And even uh, an Ashkenazi Jewish girl is also, you know, really fine too. Now here's the thing though, by the time I actually have my own, like, if I have my, uh, my own girlfriend and after a few years we decide to break up for whatever reason, uh, then I would actually be open to, like, you know, for prostitution basically. Like, you know, having sex with any girl, even on a one night stand basically. And, I mean, as I said before in my previous video, in, in the meeting of uh, the Hillary voters or, like, you know, talking about Elliot Roger, I did say that by the time I have my own, like, girlfriend, that if we break up, I would still have sexual urges, but I would still, like, you know, so I would still, but though I already experienced the, the romantic, the romantic love, basically, from my previous girlfriend, but I just want to have this sexual pleasure, basically. So then at that point, I could, like, I could go out, like, you know, I could go out with either prostitution or just a one-night stand. And that includes also, like, any kind of, uh, gen like, you know, race of a girl. Like, I wouldn't mind having sex with a black girl, Asian girl, Hispanic, or even Middle Eastern. Because if it's just, like, just for sex, because it's gonna be just for sex, and then after that, I, I wouldn't, like, you know, uh, see her and stuff. Uh, like, you know, it would just be just so, just for sex and that's it, basically. So that's what I'll basically be doing. So, yeah. So yeah, those are just those are just my uh, personal preference and like what I what I think about you know having sex with girls of of different races and stuff. But that's just for sex in general, and that's the but for a girlfriend, you know, she'd have to be white and of course also not transgender because I mean I know there are some people that, like, would have sex with a, someone who's transgender, and, that, and that's actually perfectly fine, like, more power to them, but for me, I prefer, like, a biological, bi a biological girl. So, definitely should have two X chromosomes, no Ys in there, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that, because, yeah, that includes, like, you know, even if that said trans girl, like, cuts off her uh, testicles and, and penis, that's still not enough, you know? I think these things control those electricity. Oh no, they don't. I thought they might. This one's kind of a fun boss, honestly. So yeah, that's basically my views on, you know, on what kind of girls I like and stuff. I wonder if I... Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, I have to kill these things first. Ah, oh, shit. Fuck! Okay, we gotta... We gotta refill. supposed to spin? Or... Oh! Okay. I thought I was supposed to hit, like, you know, spin, like, hit them by the time, you know, he's skidding. That's why. Oh, 
star and see if my if my brother's home. I still talked about what I need to talk about, but I wish I could talk more, so if he's home, then I could just end it off here and uh, just upload what I said. Because I was thinking of delving into the 2018 midterms and stuff, but yeah, I mean, I guess that's what, that's what happens when you play late, but I, I was hoping. I mean, it's... It's 3.04, actually. I mean, maybe I think my mom's home, not my brother. So, yeah, as a matter of fact, let me pause this game for a sec. I'll be right back. I just need to see if, if someone's in the house. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And bad news, my mom actually came home early. So yeah, I was right. It's not my brother, but my mom came home. So, I'm um, apparently I'm going to have to end it here. <laughs> I'm so sorry that this was kind of short, but like I said, I mean, that's kind of what happens when you don't, when you get home and you don't play early, but I was just way too excited, you know, and like, you know, I was way too excited because I discovered a fucking anim a sexy animated girl, you know, just by browsing on the internet. Started on 4chan and I decided to search up, I discovered a trait on Wikipedia of that girl, searched it up, and I found another girl from an animated movie from Asia. That's basically what happened, and I decided to talk to you guys about it. But oh well, there's always tomorrow. I'll definitely wake up early tomorrow to see if I could do more of this. For Pikmin 3, maybe next week, or um, maybe I'll do slightly more of this, because I kind of do enjoy playing this game, to be honest. So yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I will see you all, maybe in the next gameplay series, like if I play more of this, or play Pikmin 3, or something else. I have no idea, but we'll see. Alright, bye everyone.